Leroy Sane in the starting 11 as he was against Spain in that one all draw. And an early chance for the new Bayern Munich winger. Decent work on the ball to create the space, but couldn't find a way past Sommer in goal. Then the breakthrough for Germany. A little bit of luck initially, but the ball laid up for Gundogan was absolutely spot on. And the Manchester City midfielder with a lovely side-footed finish, curling it around the outside of the post. No chance for Sommer that time. Perfectly placed from Gundogan. 26 minutes gone, and then Switzerland deciding to get their party started as well. Mbolo picking out Stefan there, the two Bundesliga players combining well. But Bernd Leno in goal for Germany with the save. His first time in between the sticks since October 2017. Switzerland would keep the pressure on towards the back end of the first half. Seferovic with a golden opportunity. Just Leno to beat, but not making contact with the ball the way he would have liked. And Yogi Love's team getting away with that one. Half an hour gone. Gunduan with a lovely ball out wide to Werner. Werner inside to Draxler. And Leroy Sane offside with the second effort. But Draxler's would have count had he found a way past Sommer there. Lovely build up. From Gunduan and Werner initially. Sane does well to leave it for Draxler. But Sommer with a big, big save to keep Switzerland within touching distance. Towards the end of the half then, Germany looking to turn one goal into two. And Werner very nearly with one for the highlight reel. Unable to find the target there. Had he done so, that could have been a goal of the season contender. And just before the break, the best chance for Switzerland in the game. They had a few, and they kept on falling to that man, the number nine, Seferovic, just catching the outside of the post there. Leno probably had that near post covered, but still something to think about for Germany going into the halftime break with a one-goal lead. But chances for both sides, and that's exactly how the second half would unfold as well. Germany with the early chance to double their lead. Draxler again. Lovely ball to pick him out on the edge of the penalty area, just inside to be precise. Just couldn't bend it inside that corner. And back came Switzerland. Just a few minutes later. And they would do it in style as well. And Bolo involved yet again. Vidma with the late arrival, picking up the pieces of that low cross into the danger zone. And a lovely finish would see Switzerland level things up at one apiece. Probably what both teams deserve. Switzerland, though. Finishing the stronger of the two. Granit Xhaka especially would have a handful of chances to give Switzerland all three a points. That one from a dead ball situation. But Leno with a fantastic save. Another free kick then in injury time. Akanji's would be blocked by the wall. The second ball in would fall to Xhaka who just couldn't get it on target again. Sending that header wide, and well, it would be another game that ends in a draw for Yogi Love and Team Germany. A decent performance from both.